Welcome to all. I am Noorul Aini, Department of Mathematics from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. Our topic adjoint of a linear operation. Definition for this, let V be a finite dimensional inner product space and let T be a linear operator on V. Then there exits a unique function T star from V to V such that T of x comma y and inner product x comma t star of y for all x comma y belongs to v then the linear operator t star is called the adjoint of linear operator t let us see the properties for this let theorem let t and u be linear operator on a finite dimensional inner product space v and alpha belongs to f then we have five division first one t plus u star equal to t star plus u star second alpha t star equal to alpha bar t star third t u star equal to u star into t star fourth t star of star equal to t fifth i star equal to i let us see the proof of this first let x comma y belongs to v therefore inner product t plus u into x comma y equal to inner product of t of x plus u of x that means in the first you should multiply with x which is outside the bracket therefore we get inner product of t of x plus u of x comma y then in the next step we have to split it into two terms that is inner product of tx of t of x comma y plus inner product of u of x comma y after by using the properties we get inner product of x comma t star of y plus inner product of x comma u star of y that is inner product of x comma t star of y plus u star of y that is inner product of x comma we have u taken commonly outside therefore we will write t star plus u star of y therefore t plus u into x comma y equal to inner product of x comma t star u star into y that implies inner product of x comma t plus u star of y equal to inner product of x comma t star plus u star of y by the uniqueness of our joint implies t plus u the whole star equal to t star plus u star second division let alpha belongs to f and x comma y belongs to v inner product alpha t of x comma y equal to inner product of alpha t of x comma y that is equal to alpha into inner product of t of x comma y that is equal to alpha into inner product of x comma t star of y therefore inner product of alpha t of x comma y equal to inner product of x comma alpha bar t star of y therefore inner product x comma alpha t star y by using the property we get equal to inner product of x comma alpha bar t star of y again by the uniqueness of our joint we get alpha t the whole star equal to alpha bar t star third division let x comma y belongs to v inner product t u or x comma y inner product of t into u of x comma y that is equal to inner product u of x comma t star of y therefore inner product of t u x comma y equal to inner product x comma u star into t star of y that is equal to inner product x comma u star t star into y therefore inner product t u x comma y equal to inner product x comma u star t star into y that implies inner product x comma t u the whole star into y equal to inner product x comma u star t star into y again by the uniqueness of our joint implies t u the whole star equal to u star t star
ஃபோர்த் டிவிஷன் லெட் எக்ஸ் கமா ஒய் பிலாங்ஸ் டு வி இன் அ ப்ராடக்ட் டி ஸ்டார் எக்ஸ் கமா ஒய் ஈக்குவல் டு இன் அ ப்ராடக்ட் ஒய் கமா டி ஸ்டார் எக்ஸ் தி ஹோல் பார் தட் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு இன் அ ப்ராடக்ட் ஆஃப் டி எஃப் ஒய் கமா எக்ஸ் தி ஹோல் பார் தட் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு இன் அ ப்ராடக்ட் எக்ஸ் கமா டி ஆஃப் ஒய் தாஃபோர் இன் அ ப்ராடக்ட் டி ஸ்டார் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் கமா ஒய் ஈக்குவல் டு இன் அ ப்ராடக்ட் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் கமா டி ஆஃப் ஒய் then by the properties in a product of x comma t star the whole star into y equal to in a product of x comma t of y by the uniqueness of adjoint implies t star the whole star equal to t the last division fifth let x comma y belongs to v in a product i x comma y equal to in a product x comma y that implies in a product x comma y y since i of y equal to y that implies in a product x comma i star of y equal to in a product x comma i y by the uniqueness of our joint i star equal to i thank you for watching